Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Yeah. Okay, we've got try to relax. We've got who am I and we've got the hand. Okay, when, the, when I saw this um, down here, the, my first thought was something that um, I saw in a documentary about dreams, okay? Um, they said that when you, if you're in a nightmare or something like that, if you're in a dream and you can hold your hands out, right, and look at your hands, you can take control. That's what I, and that. I heard that in a documentary like years ago, you guys, and I've never forgotten it. And I, I've actually tried to do this in my dreams, and it's worked like twice. Um, that was years ago, okay? But I feel like you know who you are. Try to relax, okay? Just try to... Whew, usa. Some of you are second-guessing your intuition. Some of you may be wondering if you're a light worker. Um, some of you could be realizing that you've got some kind of skill, some kind of ability, and maybe you don't fully believe it, or it could even be kind of freaking you out, like, what's going on? You know, and uh, several uh, months ago, I got in my readings pretty consistently that spirit was going to be working on us, okay? Um, heightening our abilities, right? Um, I wasn't the only one out here in Tarot Land that was picking up on that. <laughs> Um, I, I love that because it's like a confirmation, right, over and over again. Um, but, yeah, you may be realizing that you, you could even be like telekinetic, being able to move things with your mind. This is giving me also, um, oh, Ed Lead Scalman. Look it up, okay? It's L-E-E-D-S-K-A-L-I-N. He created what they call um, the crystal, or no, it's the Coral Castle. It's the Coral Castle, and I think it's in Florida, okay, if I'm not mistaken. Shout out to Florida. Woot. Anyway, um, that person, Ed Lead Skullman, and I wrote a paper on this guy um, when I was in college years ago, years ago. Um, he... He was a very frail man, very, very small in stature, okay? Dude probably weighed a whole 90 pounds soaking wet, okay? For real. And he was an older man in his, I don't know, 60s, maybe 70s. And he was able to move humongous giant boulders um, all by himself. He didn't have any help. He wouldn't allow anyone to help him. He kept his secret hidden. He said that he knew the secrets that the Egyptians had um, when they were building the pyramids. And he had this little contraption in this little box that he would keep at the top of this, of this tripod, okay? Um, and he said that it worked with, like, electromagnetism, and it would make the rocks nearly weightless. So all he would have to do is just push them. Okay, um, you can look it up. Google the guy, right? His name is Ed Lead Skalman, um, and it's the Coral Castle. Just look up the Coral Castle in Florida. It'll tell you all about it. But, yeah, th I feel like you've got some big um, abilities here, and you may even be like, am I really doing this? Is that Was that me? <laughs> Right? Right? Was that me? Um, now they're showing me a memory that I had when I was in college. Yeah, you could be in college. I keep picking up on college days. Um, or this is learning. You're learning about your abilities. This could be higher education as well, like spiritual education, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, when I was in college, um, I was in the, the arts program, okay? Went to school for graphic design, actually. But um, <sighs> there was a time when I was, and I remember this so clearly. I was walking down this really long hallway because I was late for class. And my teacher was standing outside the door, kind of just like waiting for all the, uh, all the students to show up. You know, he's standing way down at the end of a hallway, like a really super long hallway. 
And as I walked down this hallway, I remembered I was, I was feeling kind of panicky, but yet I was excited. I was feeling kind of like, I was feeling good that day. Okay. Really good. And um, all the lights above me as I walked down the hallway, they all went off as I walked. It's almost like I was doing that. And I kind of, you know, he was watching it too. So I had a witness for this. Um, and he was like standing there like he uncrossed his arms and he's watching me. He's watching the lights go off and I'm just walking all happy, you know, kind of, you know, scurrying along because I was, I knew I was late. But yeah, um... I kind of looked back at all the lights going off and I'm like, am I doing this, right? So yeah, you're noticing that you can maybe pull energy from other sources as well, like um, electricity, the weather. You may notice this, this ability really being heightened when you're in water or maybe if there's like a thunderstorm, a lot of lightning, when, all the, when the sky is kind of like... Um, you know, electromagnified, whatever, okay, um, a lot of electricity in the air, you may notice that you could be, um, you know, lights could be shutting off, I'm getting something with the electricity, so telekinetic abilities, uh, psychic abilities, control, can being able to control your, your, your mind, your energy, um, your dreams, there's something that you're realizing that you can do now, okay? And I feel like it's an upgrade, okay? It may be freaking you out a little bit, but you need to, you need to trust yourself, your abilities, and your intuition, okay? Really intense reading already, and um, only three cards. You're, this is just your oracles, okay? Um, I might just keep up with this deck because, wow. Uh, like, for real, I'm seeing boulders being moved here. Look at this one's just floating, like you're already moving it, right? And you look at yourself like, did I just do that? I'm, I'm, I've got the chills up both of my arms, you guys. And I'm wearing a sweater. It's 73 degrees in here, and I'm sitting on a heating pad. I'm not cold. <laughs> so, yeah, um... I'm just getting the sense that this is this ball is rolling. It's almost like this is your head and you're focused on a ball. You know what else they're showing me too is from the movie The Craft. You guys have you ever seen that movie The Craft? Um and there uh there's a, a the main character in the movie, she's sitting at a at a desk in school and she's got a pencil in front of her, okay? And she's just focused on the pencil and the pencil sta as she stands it up on its on its side or on its end so the you know the tip of it is on the table like this and it, she can spin it around okay like that so i'm seeing a lot of telekinetic energy coming off of you you may be feeling like your fingers now my fingertips are starting to tingle okay you may have a um i want to say brass uh, or copper, it, it's copper, a copper ring, okay, that um, maybe you notice when you put it on your finger, um, it may relieve pain or it may um, kind of attract energy to you, you may feel a tingle. I know, I know you guys, but uh, this isn't going to be for all of you, of course, but this is what I'm picking up on, do your fingertips tingle? Do you feel like um, I'm getting a, they're showing me a laser pointer right here. So do you feel like a um, pressure or something right here in the palm of your hand? You know, it's giving me that you also have royal bloodlines now. Okay. You know, it's giving me the stigmata vibes. And it's tripping you out. Whatever this is, it's tripping you out. Um, so this is freaking you out a little bit, okay? Huh. You may be re uh, noticing that there's some changes to your appearance, okay? I'm getting, yep, and that was what I was getting. They're showing me, like, um, maybe a marking or freckles starting to appear in a spot on your forehead. That's what they're showing me, you guys. 
and that's not for all of you, but it could be a confirmation. Like freckles on your forehead, okay? You're also, be look at this, and there I was surrounded. I feel like people are, you, you're going to notice that people um, want to be around you, okay? No matter where you are, it's, it could be anybody, strangers. I'm seeing strangers just kind of move in your direction, want to be in the area that you're in. That's been happening to me a lot, too. When, you, when I go shopping or something, I, I, I brought it up before, this example. Like, you'll be shopping, and you'll be in an aisle that's got no one in it, right? And all of a sudden, as soon as you get in that aisle, everybody wants to be in that aisle. And they'll kind of close you in. It's because they want to be surrounded by your energy. They want to bathe in that beautiful energy that, um, that you are giving off as well. So, yeah. I, and, you know, I started this reading thinking you may be wondering if you're a light worker. Yeah, I feel like you are. I feel like you have royal bloodlines as well because they're, now they're showing me a crown. So, yeah, you have royal bloodlines. You are, I feel like you're a chosen one. Okay, you are surrounded also by spirit guides, yeah, multiple spirit guides, okay, possibly your ancestors. You could be making some kind of huge accomplishment right now. Okay, no, what they're telling me is, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting a lot of downloads for this reading, you guys. It's really intense, so <sighs> let me breathe for a second. Um, what I'm getting is... With these new abilities, it is freaking you out. Spirit can see that. They can feel it. They know your thoughts about it. Okay? Um, and I feel like there's ancestors and your spirit guides being called in around you to try to not only keep you calm, but to help you discover and, um, I want to say, Look into this further. You know what I mean? They're going to help you along in the process of learning and discovering this new ability that you have. So they're coming towards you to help you um, understand it and understand how to use it. This is what I'm getting. These are the, what, this is the words they're giving me to understand it and understand how to use it so that you're not... Um, Agitated is what I just heard, so that you're not agitated or nervous about this, okay? Because, yeah, a trip. It's a trip. Some of you are, are, oh, man, no, no. They're showing me another memory I had when I was a kid. Astral projection. Astral projection, okay? So I feel like you could be... You could, have, you could have the ability to astral project. That's taking you from Earth to other galaxies. Like, I feel like um, that's really hard to deal with. And that did happen to me once when I was a kid. And it freaked me out so bad because I was a kid. I didn't understand at the time what was happening. Um, they had me understand it. I don't know, uh, it, it took me several years thinking about this, but it, it really does feel like you're weightless and you're floating, and um, I felt like I had no control, okay? I kept going farther and farther and farther out, and I, I felt like I had no control, and it scared me um, to the point where I, I, like, woke up, and it's almost like you're in this lucid state, like you're not really sleeping, but you're not fully awake either, right? Like REM sleep or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, this is, some, this is another ability that somebody has. So someone out here is telekinetic, someone out here is psychic, and can um, possibly um, manipulate energy um, in a positive way, though, in a positive way, okay? And someone can astral project. Yes, this is also, I feel, telekinetic. Some of you, I'm, feel, I'm hearing mediumship as well. This is, now this is when we all start discovering 
and um, researching and practicing our new abilities. Okay, we're now that we've started a new cycle. Um, I feel like the missions are getting more intense. Okay, um, the spiritual battle uh, could be getting more intense. Um, and you know, because spirits winning here, they're waking people up. They're they're heightening abilities, heightening senses. Okay, and um, and the negative side, you know, the the devil is they get the devil's angry about that. So they're trying to pull. Um, uh, also, there's dark entities out there that are using people to try to. Um, kind of slow down the progress of the light workers. Okay, so be mindful of that. I feel like you're seeing everything clearly. I think I think you're seeing everything clearly. Okay. This is a honestly, it's such a deep read. It's almost like they're telling me what's going on in the five D, as well as what's going on with you. And all of these, all of these abilities are coming from the five D. So. Um, yeah, death and rebirth, I feel like um, you could be feeling um, replenished or whatever you've lost in this last cycle, I feel like um, you're getting it back. That could be a creative ability, something like that. This is the death card, but it's coming out as rebirth, okay? This is also like a closing of the last cycle, a beginning to a new one. And this is also doors opening up. And I'm not just talking about doors of opportunity. I'm talking about doors in your mind. I feel like there's doors in your mind that are being opened up to these new abilities, this new um, information, okay? New uh, downloads, messages, you're going to be getting a lot of them. Right now you're like a sponge, okay? So... Whew, I feel like, too, you're going to need to rest. Yeah, try to relax. Just go with it. Just go with the flow. Try to relax. Believe in yourself. Um, believe in your intuition. Trust your intuition, okay? Yeah, doubt. Look, trust your intuition. Your doubt is your faith, if necessary, in your particular case, perhaps. Yeah, put your faith in yourself and the divine Okay, don't doubt because look, I feel like you're a leader, you're a light worker, you're out here to raise the vibrations of other people, you're out here to um, um, usher in a great change, a huge shift in, perspect in perspectives, a huge shift in traditional thought, a huge shift in vibrations. I feel like you're an instrument out here for the divine. I'm really feeling like you're a light worker. If you were wondering, I feel like you're a light worker. And, and here's the thing, union of opposites, right? Um, I feel like you, this is light worker energy as well. I feel like um, the opposite side is upset, okay, about this. Because you're helping to create a shift and a change that spirit wants. You're a light worker whose abilities have been heightened, okay? And you may not even, like, you could be watching tarot card readings and, and everybody could be hitting things spot on, and it's like, oh my gosh, I, I still can't believe it's really happening. Like, this sounds like me. This is exactly me. How can it be me, right? Some of you are just realizing now what you can do, okay? What your abilities are. You're just realizing now that you're, I feel like you're a chosen one with, um, uh, with royal bloodlines. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And you're about to get, look, you're about to get some orders dropped from headquarters. Okay. This is orders. This is, um, uh, the downloads, right. That you're getting from headquarters, from the divine. So I feel like it, it says await further orders. So yeah, now that you know, oh gosh, I am getting the chills of both of my arms. Now that you know who you are, you know, if this is resonating with you, this is a confirmation for you. And spirits like now that you know you're about to you're about to get some new 
um, a new, they, it says wait for further orders. So a new orders, right? New, a new, um, a new mission maybe is going to be presented to you. Okay. Or new downloads, new, um, um, heightened abilities, perhaps instructions. You're about to get a download of instructions on what to do next, where to go next, what your mission is. You may be all of a sudden wanting to start a new creative project. I just got that too. Um, so yeah, I, and that's part of your mission. I feel like you are to trust it. Trust these downloads that are coming from Spirit. Oh my gosh, you guys. Crazy read, okay? Yeah, and it says here, this is from the universe. It says not unfolding the way it should, but I feel like, I feel like it is. I feel like I'm, the only part I'm supposed to read is the universe. This, these are orders from the universe, okay? And I feel like um, if we are to put in not unfolding the way it should, I feel like it's because you're having a hard time relaxing. You're freaking out a little bit. Divine just wants you to go with the flow. Just stay nice and smooth, okay? You've got, you've got your guides, you've got your ancestors around you at all times right now to help you through this and help you understand exactly who you really are. And that is a light worker, okay? It's hard to, this is someone I feel like who's just realizing it, and that's, very surreal. It's a, it's, it's a huge impact. It's, it's a hard one. Okay, yeah, just keep rolling with it. This is the Wheel of Fortune. And just know, with the Wheel of Fortune, to me, is a wild card. Spirit's trying to tell you, it's almost like I'm hearing them giggle, and them saying, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Await for further orders and instructions, Divine or um, divine feminines, divine masculine. Sorry, my light workers. Oh my goodness. Um, what is your advice? Like what do, how do they, I feel like you're just go with the flow, try to stay calm. Yep, here comes your instructions on where to go, right? You may get these instructions in your sleep. So pay close attention to your dreams if you can, okay? Um, Write them down. Any kind of signs, messages, synchronicities you see around you, keep writing them down and review them later. You know, let them mull over in your head a little while if you have to. Um, pay close attention to song lyrics, things you are, um, little blips that you're seeing on TV maybe. Any kind of memories spirit puts in your head, write those down too. I'm telling you, they're, they're putting the, the puzzle pieces into place for you. Okay, what else can you show me? And just know the reason why people can't seem to stay away from you anywhere you go, it's because of your energy. They're pulled to you. You're that light. Okay. Yeah, see, this is something that you're thinking about. I feel like you're, yeah, but listen, spirits, just like we're trying to lead you. Okay, we're trying to lead you. Just keep going by the book, right? Yeah, see? And I feel like they're trying to tell you, you've got royal bloodlines here. They're giving you a leg up. They're, um, I feel like some of you are wondering, maybe you're wondering, am I doing the right thing? Should I start this project? Should I, should I, um, should I research this? And should I research astral projection? Whatever. I feel like the divine is leading you, and they're giving you a go-ahead, you know? And they're also with you. It's coming in right over the top of, and there I was surrounded by your spirit guides. I feel like your spirit guides are with you all the time. Just go with the flow. <laughs> I feel like you just need to go with the flow. And you're working together with the 22. I feel like, um, you know, that's a four. If, and under coming under 11, you're spiritually led with all the, with a 44 here. All right, what else can you show me? Give me one more. I feel like you just need to breathe. You need to try to relax, right? You need to try to relax. And spirit's going to take you where you need to go. 
going the distance and cleaning it up. I feel like if um, if you were holding yourself back from a from a project or going somewhere, I feel like um, you'll no longer be able to hold yourself back. Your spirit may want you to dive into this and look into it deeper or do your research on it, right? Study it, practice it. Um, and you could even be possibly being led to a new location, okay? I, I feel like you may already be intuitively picking up on that. You need to start packing. You need to maybe get rid of old clutter, things that no longer resonate with you. So some of you may be um, in the future, the near future, moving to a different spot. This is so that you can start a new mission. Okay, just listen to the divine because I'm seeing this as um, a lot of travel, okay, or forward movement. So listen to the divine because they're going to be taking you to where you need to be, okay? Yeah, you're a light worker. You're going to be in service. And, um, and with a new cycle, I feel like a new bigger mission is coming. That's why you've gotten all of these... Um, enhanced abilities and heightened senses okay so yeah just go with the flow listen to god um and trust your intuition that's it anyway collective yeah this is really intense um you are really intense and this is a confirmation for whoever was wondering if you're a light worker or not i feel like this is your answer <laughs> 